How to implement quality assurance checklist quack? First of all, we need to have quack reporting template. In order to download the template, we go to the quality assurance web page. On the quality assurance web page, you will see introduction to quack and set of instructions how to apply quack. If you go further down, you will see quack concept. And at the end of the page, you will find quack reporting template. Click on it, save. When it is safe, open it. On the first page of Quack reporting template, you will find again a brief introduction of Quack for users and instructions how to apply Quack. The first instruction is to download the template, which we have just done. The next step is to select for each dimension input, processing, output, and outcome the quality indicators you applied for the quality assurance. For each quality indicator, you will find assessment questions. Please state if they apply for your showcase. For each assessment question, you will find supporting material on the web page of Quality Assurance. If you go back to the web page, up here, you will find the link for the guidance material. Click here to see the table. And in this table, you will find all the quality indicators along with assessment questions and guidance material. Read the question and take help from the guidance material to understand the quality indicator. But if you do not understand the quality indicator for the question, please post your question on the forum and you can also write us an email and we will try to help you. Coming back to the Quack reporting template, the next step is to give a short description about how you treated the quality indicators. And wherever possible, provide any documents, links, scripts that support your performance. And in case you have any questions, use the forum given in the link. When reporting Quack template, the first step is to introduce your showcase. Give showcase name, then short description of a showcase, organization name, reporter name and email, the person who is filling in the template, then date and place. For dimension input data criterion scientific and methodological quality, all the quality indicators are given in the first column along with assessment questions. And in this case, the first quality indicator is transparency. And the assessment question for this quality indicator is, are all data sources referenced? Please provide which category of data you used and the source. Examples are also given to elaborate the question so that you understand the question completely. Moving on to the next column, applied yes or no it means have you applied this quality indicator transparency in your showcase if yes then you check here yes and in the next column short description please provide a short description that how you have treated the quality indicator transparency in your showcase and then in the next column supporting documents Please provide any kind of documents, links, papers, reports that helps and supports your performance. And in comments column, you provide additional information uh, which you want to share with your client or users. And moving back to the column applied no. If that is the case, then provide a short description in the next column or a reason that why you haven't applied this quality indicator in your showcase. And that's it. Please repeat the process for the other quality indicators like appropriateness and completeness. And follow the same pattern for dimension processing, dimension output, 
and dimension outcome. In my next tutorial, I will explain Quark reporting template with the help of an example. So if you are interested or curious to know what your partners have filled in for their showcase, please watch our next tutorial.